can you, um, I guess, name three things that come to your mind when you think about time? Um, any three things in general. Schedule. Break time. And um, night time. Sleeping time. Okay. So those are big things for you, right? Um, why, why do you think you, uh, you think of those things? Why do those come to, your, come to mind? Because I would say those are the uh, most important components for a working person like me. Uh, when I was growing up, I wasn't, uh, I mean, I didn't really pay attention because uh, I didn't have to stay on schedule, only the school that was, uh, you know, that starting time for the school, uh -huh. getting off. But uh, as soon as you enter the workforce, and then it's different because you really are on a schedule for every hour, uh, actually every minute. Does the time affect your daily schedule? It affects my daily schedule a lot because I have certain obligations and commitments at certain times that I need to meet. Um, and it also affects my daily schedule because I end up feeling a certain way because I don't have as much time as I want to and I end up doing things based on emotions and rationale going through my own head about what I want to do with my time and you know the rights that I feel like I have to. You know. Just let, you know, you know, let your life go by. Just sit back and watch and enjoy. Usually when you have a hefty day, you have a lot of more things to do. So you have to squeeze more things in a, a smaller space. That way you can have some time for yourself. That. Because I knew that I, I, when I would tell her the time, she would tell last if it was recess or it was a few more minutes for okay. it and that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> okay, so it's, not, it's an anticipation in yeah, that way. Okay. That's right. If you could change how time is structured, what would it revolve around? You. Uh, you I'd associate it with productivity. And it means that, that uh, not that this amount of time has passed but this is what I've accomplished or this is what I'm aiming to do. I think that there's a lot of people out there that are satisfied with wasting time and I think that there's a lot of things that we can do nowadays that help pass the time um, and I guess I just wish that it was things weren't more orientated around passing time and making things go easier but more focused on you know what what we're doing with our time well, I used to be a busy gal <laughs> these days there's just not much going on you know I go to class I live my life and all the other time is just you're spent, you know, relaxing. All right, how do you think life would be different without the clock? You know, I don't own a cellular device. <laughs> so, if I'm out and about, then I have no concept of time whatsoever. It's not really a problem. But you know, without the clock, I think, you know, you could just depend on the sun for it. I think I'd probably waste about I'd like, you know, an optimistic estimate would be about 30%, and I'm sad and embarrassed to say I probably waste about 40-45% of my free time. Um, there's a lot of times that I sit around saying, damn, I should be doing something else right now. Uh, how much free time do you have and what do you, what do you do with it? I got a lot of free time, uh, and that's mostly because... Uh, I prioritize the things that I like to do, <laughs> um, and I have a lot of free time to do what I, I like, and I'm happy about that, and it keeps me uh, excited to live, uh, and what I do with it is the thing that I love the most is uh, try and focus on relationships with people and real interactions that I have with uh, people that I care about on a daily basis. How would you describe the role time plays in your life? Well, as you can imagine, it doesn't play a huge role. I've got one clock. I don't look at it too much. <laughs> I just do what I want. <laughs>